Welcome to the chaos. Um, I was working on this book and I figured, you know what? Let's just go ahead and show my weird technique. So I'm working on, I'm kind of excited about this. I got to say, <laughs> I'm a little attached. And my son's like, you can't sell this. I like the story because truly underneath it all, I'm a storyteller. Um, kind of was a writer. And then I didn't want to write anymore. And I just wanted to produce without words. So I've been working on a series of journals. This is one of them. And this would be, let's see if you could figure out the theme of this one. You will in a minute. But anyway, um, binding. This is my weird technique. It fabric, it's really hard to, and I made this look grungy for a reason. I know for a lot of people, this doesn't look finished. But once you see the story... Um, of the person that this book is created for by because I put myself into the person that the theme is um, when making it. I'm thinking, how would they make it? And the person that made this journal um, wouldn't know how to sew well and wouldn't know how to make neat stitches and know how to tuck the unders over. So there's a series of like eight I think that's what I've come up with. And each of them will have a different feel because they'll have a different skill set. I know this sounds weird. I'm kind of weird this way. It's like my kind of way of being creative with this and not just creating a journal, but actually like really getting into the process and kind of the, it's like, um, I don't know, make believe play. It's what I truly enjoy. So this is, um, this is a one person's journal. So anyway, I take these little glue sticks. It's really hard to find the hole on the outside with fabric. It's like when you put the awl through, it's a small hole-ish. And then I use my Japanese um, hole puncher and it still leaves a bigger hole, but it leaves really a clean hole is what it does. I don't know if you can see it, but it leaves a cleaner hole. And then, but the hole is still lost on the outside in the fabric because it like closes back in upon itself. So I use these, I don't know what they're even called. A friend of mine was moving and her dad gave me them. He called them glue sticks. I'm not sure. They're, I know they're vintage because everything that they gave me was vintage. Um, and here's the book. And this is the thickest signature I've ever tried to to bind and I really hope it works because these will be available at one point. When I'm done with them all, I will list them. My son's like, please don't, but I make them to share. I have plenty of my own. So, all right, so let's bind this. This is what I do. Uh, sorry, I should be more prepared and I'm not. What I need are some book guts. <laughs> Searching for book guts usually not an issue but I'm having a shortage of book guts sorry I'm coming I'm coming dear if I did this on something besides my phone I would be able to pause you but I can't ah I need book guts okay this will work this will work so what I do is I take it and what we're going to do is, first of all, we are going to do our holes in the, I haven't done those holes yet. This is what I do. So this is my guide. And I am not too technical, but when it comes to the holes, sometimes I eyeball it, but it's almost always a mistake. Sometimes I get impatient and I do it anyway, if I can't find one of these. Anyway, this came from a book that I had gutted and they had these as spacers. I have like a stack of them. So this is why I'm measuring because usually I don't. But obviously I can't use all those holes. So I punched, obviously this was my hole off center because you know, I'm so professional. But it doesn't matter because all I need is that little point. So then you line it up, see? And this book, because it is so many pages, I am being a little bit more technical than I usually am. I'm trying to make sure that it's all lined up. So what I'm gonna do with this one is, let's put it in the corner. What I'm going to do, because 
like I said, this one's thick. I really need it to be right. Oop. Did I go off? Ah, I did. Okay. I'm going to fold it along there. The reason for that is, you'll see. Okay, so then you take your big thick book. I love this book. Is she not like, I haven't even torn a page out yet because I'm kind of like, do I want to glue the whole thing? I mean, look at this. It's good stuff in here. Oh, really? Really? Oh, swoon. But, you know, she's not going to get hurt in this process too much. Just a little. It might hurt a little. So we're going to put that in that crease. See what I'm doing? Hopefully you see what I'm doing and I'm not too off center like I usually am. I'm going to shove it kind of down in there. And really all I want to do is make my mark center of that. Okay. I'll get a better hole once it's out. Okay. Are you catching the theme? So I love clowns. Um, I'm probably the only one that loves clowns. I don't find them creepy. I remember seeing the opera I Pagliacci, and I'm probably saying that totally wrong because I'm not Italian. Oh, I fell in love with clowns. That story, oh my God, it's so sad and so tragic and so beautiful. And it made me fall in love with the opera. Um, it was the first one I ever went to. Okay, now I'm really getting it in there. And it's this is protecting it. I'm gonna take my little stick and pray that this works. Whenever you do things on camera, it never works because, you know, there we go. There. And this, I did put washi on there because, um, because it is so full and it's glued on there. It's not just taped because I wanted to make sure it stayed. And, you know, I feel like he would have done something similar. But see how it came right out center? Okay. It gets a little harder. <laughs> but you got to leave your stick hanging off. And out of the way. And then do the other one. And it's scary. It's a scary moment, guys. Make sure it's in there tight. I crease the book because that way it lets me know. And pray. again that's about as good as it gets guys it's not going to get better than that really this is why I don't really sell a lot of journals because I feel like I'm a perfectionist when I sell things when I make things for myself I just have fun with it there we go we got a little place marker there so these are going to keep this one's a little scary because I don't think that's secure enough so I am going to oh god I just took one from the other book you see what happens? This is what happens when I do things on video. Okay, so those two are done. I need to get one more stick. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of these sticks, except find something that will replace them. Maybe toothpicks. I'm not sure toothpicks would work. I have these around, and I don't know what he's talking about glue sticks. If you know what he's talking about, please enlighten me, because I'm kinda like, huh? Glue sticks. I think he meant like tucking under things when you want to glue things under. Okay. Look, I'm getting confident. I'm not even. It's scary. Booyah. No one was hurt in this process. Pull it out. Put it in. There. Surgery going on here. But this is honestly... It's a pain, so I accidentally took that out. See, it's even here. It's really hard to get that hole back. It's so frustrating. It's the most frustrating part of the journal making process is the stupid fabric part. Okay, so there we have our holes here, our holes here, and everything should line up. So what we're gonna do is take this one out, put this one in, this is how I do things. I don't know. I'm not a pro. I'm just, I'm just me. This is what I do. 
when I'm doing it. This is my right way. Usually I eyeball things because I this I find this so frustrating. Maybe toothpicks would work better. This fabric is just super. I've got fabric, I have fabric tack, because I glue before I sew so that the cover stays on. You know what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm proving myself wrong. Why am I making things difficult? Right. Look how easy that was. Lemo. Okay. This is the hardest part of making journals. It really is. It's it doesn't the rest of it's not as hard. And I just made it a lot more difficult than I needed to. I was trying to use what I had. Okay, so there we go. All right. We have it. All right. Now you take your, this is waxed linen thread. Ooh, glue. Okay, and you want, I always do a little extra and I do kind of like dangles, even on, like this is kind of more of a boyish, masculine-ish journal. I don't care. You want to do double, at least. I do a little bit more because, you know, why go through all that trouble and just, like, end up... This is not good, guys. Um, yeah. Needle. Waxed linen thread. I was like, that went in way easy. Of course it can be that easy. And you could use embroidery thread, but if I'm thinking about selling this, I use the more um, reliable stuff. And I hate doing things on video with this because like, I know this is when I always mess up. All right, make sure everything's right side up. All right, I'm gonna go through this hole. What I really should do right now, and what I'm gonna do, is now this book becomes one. With the cover, what am I doing? I still need that open. Okay, I just wanna put the cover, not the closed, what was I thinking? Where's the beginning? You're trapped, you're trapped. I'm probably being very confusing right now. It's just you need this all to be right. This part you have to have right. And look at that. I don't know if I like that. Actually, I do because I want that tab sticking out. And it's okay. Like I said, he's not a pro. He's he's just a clown. Sewing is not his strong suit. Now the trapeze artist, her sewing is the strong suit. Because she likes to make her own costumes. And... And stuff. But him, he just needs a place to keep his stuff while he's traveling around. Okay. So we know it's all lined up still because we have that. We're gonna take this one out and put the thread in. Take this one out and put the thread in. You can take this one out. Put the thread in. See, that one was even hard to find the hole. It's just crazy. We don't need that anymore. I'm feeling secure. Oops, wrong side. Okay, I'm gonna go back through the middle. Ooh, 
a mistake. I almost pulled it right out. Oh, good. Did you see that? I went this side. This is where when you do things on camera, it's always um, more difficult than RL. <laughs> Okay, so you see how that came out on that side? What you want to do is you want to lift this up and over so it's on opposite sides. I'm sure, you know, there's plenty of videos about this. I just figured since I was doing it today, I'm going to be teaching a class and I figure it's better I show it. So it looks like I know what I'm actually talking about. And see how this is sticking out? At the end, you can stick, tuck that back in with a needle. So there we go. And now you want to think, and if you want this dangling on the outside, because some people might want this dangling on the outside, um, you can. It's whatever way. And if you do it that way, you just go in from the outside. And then here you can have these dangling down and you can add charms. So what you want to do is make sure it's nice and tight on opposite sides of the string. You can see. Look, a trapeze artist. And there's the net below. Okay, I have obviously gotten into the theme. And one more time just to tighten it for good measure. And one is totally good enough. If you want to do more, you can. But it's gonna, it's secure. So we'll do a little mini flip through if you want. I kind of love this journal. It's very basic, but it's cute. So vintage ticket from 1950. It's funny, but it's ripped right here and it's actually in here because I sewed the ticket on with this tucked in, forgetting that it was there. But I actually kind of like that mistake because now it looks like, oh, it got torn, you know, when somebody went in. Um, so at the tuck spot, these are not. I just wanted to sew on. This is feed sack fabric. So all of the fabrics in this are feed sack. Um, I had some scraps. I was going through all my feed sack stuff. And I was like, I'm never going to use that. It looks like a circus. And I was like, oh, well. Sorry. May as well do it right now, right? Oh my god, my daughter's doing gym upstairs. I could hear her. So you just tuck that back in. Okay, I'll finish that later. Anyway, tuck spot. I actually left this exposed. I could have covered this, but like I said, I wanted to show kind of his bad sewing where he messed up and tried again and how he just taped this in. And I thought this feed sack was really cute. This is what started the whole idea. I was like, that looks like circus peanuts. And this is a little tuck spot. So actually I have, it goes here. Um, it's a order ticket. And he was ordering... Well, that's a vintage um, peanut sack. He was ordering his clown shoes. A little card. So this is obviously incomplete because I wasn't ready to really do a flip through. This is a tuck spot. This is um, also a feed sack. A Dick and Jane. Um, book. I thought maybe that's where he got the idea. He liked to be a clown. I like in the background here. Best seats, $1.50. Um, on the outside of this, it's a camera. Real or whatever. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Feed sack. I think it's the same as the front. Yep. And I love this little pocket. So... It's kind of an accident. I was tearing up a map, but look at there's like map in the back. So tuck spot here, tuck spot here. And this is like the distances between towns. So I thought that was really cute and kind of with the theme. Vintage um, ledger paper. It's from an old fireman's book. This is a little tuck spot. journaling space. So there's quite a bit of journaling space in here. I tried to leave it where it had plenty because, you know, it should be used. It should not, not be used. Uh, more feed sack. 
journaling spot, you could always make it lighter. Um, and I might actually put a spot on there, but I kind of like to leave it open-ended. Journaling space. These are all tea dyed papers. This is um, avocado dyed paper with a little ink. This is the opera I was talking about, I Pagliacci, my favorite. Um, this is the vintage, yeah, it's from the record. I, had, I came into a collection of uh, records and inside it was this guy's collection and this was the flyer from it. That's where that came from. And if you don't know the story of the, the iPagliacci, oh my God, I cried. It's about a clown who finds his clown wife cheating on him with another clown. And he has to go out and make people laugh, even though his heart is breaking. Oh, God. I fell in love with clowns um, and the circus. Actually, I've always been in love with the circus. It's like the gypsy blood in me. Oh, this is cool feed sack. It's like people dancing. I'm selling feed sack in the thing, but what I was doing was taking all, I've been going through all my, I have like three boxes and I just need to get rid of some of it. So I was glad I ran into it. It just kind of came together. This is the New York Times page. I have lots of pages of these. Um, it's reproduction, but they're so cool. And this is a great little plus spot. I have made things for these, but I haven't put them in because I wasn't planning on showing this journal yet. This came from an apron. Oh, I was going to sew that and I never did. It's okay. And I thought this was cute from the Sears Roebuck catalog. He can order his clown bike. And here's a map from one of the towns, the places he's visited. Feed sack, journaling spot. This is a fussy cut from my book called The Complete Practical Joker, which I'm actually going to turn into a book also. I'm working on it. And it's another circus themed book. I can't find it right now. The cover is drying. I just did the insides of it today. Anyway, it came from that book and it's about, you know, I thought maybe this is how he was as a teenager, as the, the practical joker in class. And the town, you know, he's the one who always found fun. So this is tea dye paper with a little ink. This is a vintage Ringling Brothers circus peanut bag. Tech spot. More tea dye paper. This is from a current-ish, I think it was the 90s. Um, I made it just like a tuck spot and I was actually going to fold it over but I just didn't get to it and I probably shouldn't have sewed it yet but that's fine I think I like that and then I'll glue it along here I'll wait to do that later and this is the center fold and I love this this came from the same book fun along main street and it's another spot tuck spot all of these basically are tuck spots this one I made a little loose, so you can have like, you know, you could always glue it down more. This I am going to attach, I was thinking about it, attaching an envelope that you can put stuff in. So I just need to, actually, I guess it would go like, I want the window to show. Yeah, it'd be like this. I might just meet, leave it loose, let the person decide. So like I said, I won't be listing this right away. I want to do the whole series and kind of have a cohesive theme, and then I will list them. I love this feed sack too. Look at it. It's like old clown, not clown cars, but old cars. But like, I can think of clowns coming out of those. I left this hole so the other side was the tuck spot of it there are huge pages so they're very versatile this is again another thing I left loose 
They could either make it a tuck spot or it could be journaling. Vintage circus tickets. The other side of the opera. Tea dyed paper. Just another spot you can write or put something on. I have postcards. I'm going to add more to this later. I think it's cute. I kind of fell in love with this. This is oh, big piece of paper with a tuck spot. I thought I had it open. I'm going to have to re-glue that. Itsy daisies. And just a little bag and another tuck spot. And then there's another little spot there. I have a bunch of the tickets. They're not around me, but you know, I was going to put another ticket in and some things there. I like the back of this paper. It says popcorn. And it ends with something funny. And that would be the clown journal. So I kind of love it. Tell me what you think. What do you think? And um, are there any other circus characters I should do? There's, I have quite a few of my own. There's also a female clown. Um, and some other things. But tell me what you think. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Thanks for watching.